Hello everyone, welcome to Silas Infotex. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide to configure dynamic DNS on the FortiGate firewall. In this example, we will cover what is dynamic DNS and how to set up dynamic DNS on FortiGate firewall. So at first, let me briefly explain what is dynamic DNS. Dynamic DNS domain name system is a service that automatically updates the DNS record of the domain name, associating it with the changing IP address. The purpose of the dynamic DNS is to provide a way for device with dynamic IP addresses to be easily accessible from the internet using a domain name even when the IP address changes. So let's get started with the configurations. In this example, I am going to use the PPPoE connection to enable the dynamic DNS. In the top left corner of the navigation menu, choose Network, DNS, under the DNS setting option, choose Use FortiGuard server, server as a DNS and enable FortiGuard DDNS. Also add the interface. In this example, I'm going to add the one port one. Enable Use Public IP Address and define the server. You can choose any of them from the list. So in this example, I'm going to use 40ddns.com. Again, specify the unique location. So here is Soilis Input Tech. So that is available. So you can choose or I'm going to define the Soilis Input Tech here. So before applying, you can preview the settings of the dynamic DNS. So click on close and apply. Let's access the FortiGet firewall using the dynamic DNS or domain name service. Yes, indeed. We are able to access the FortiGet using the dynamic DNS. Our domain name again let's try to ping the public IP address of the 48 firewalls or one port so this is the one port IP address or public IP address ping 27.134.45.54 Yes, indeed, ping is success. Again, let's try to ping the FortiGate firewall using the domain name service or dynamic DNS. So, ping soilless infotech dot 40ddns.com Oh, here is the spelling mistake. Yes, the ping also success. Let me access the FortiGate firewall from the external network using the dynamic DNS or domain name service. Finally, we were able to connect or access the FortiGate firewall from the external network using the dynamic DNS or domain name service. 
So this is how we can configure the dynamic DNS on the FortiGate firewalls. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more tips and video tutorials, stay tuned until the next time. See you and bye bye.